Nick, thank you very much for joining DGI, the sixth annual. Um, there's been a lot of talk about geo interchanging, and I, my question to you is, how has it changed in the last 10 years? What are the three main things in your mind that have changed in GeoInt in the last 10 years? Um, I don't know if I could give you three, but I think certainly and fundamentally, it's been the bringing together of the various environments, both the land, sea and air environments, um, and disciplines within those environments, bringing them together to a common purpose, um, whether it be to develop shared set shared situational awareness or whether it be to develop the uh, common operational picture. I think um, it's bringing those disciplines together which have been one of the main features of, of GeoInt. And then also I think an appreciation by the community in service of the intelligence community and with the intelligence community of how that bringing together of those disciplines and, and environments can work with uh, those intelligence disciplines intelligence disciplines to give them a different dimension and a different way of looking at information and intelligence. In terms of the current challenges uh, for the GIS teams in theatre, in Afghanistan, in other locations, what, what are the main challenges that they're having to face and how are they overcoming them? Um, sharing of information. The, uh, the need to share as opposed to the need to know. I think uh, a means of sharing that information with a, a common infrastructure and a means of actually in sharing that information making sure that at the various levels within command that information is the same, is replicated down right the way from say division through brigade to the battle group through down to company such that the, the guy on the ground is, is acting on the same information, the best and most reliable information uh, that the whole of the command chain has uh, and that he's, he's working on. Um, I think um, allied with that, you know, common tools uh, to, to exploit that information and with that, as we were hearing today, uh, standards and formats and so on. My last question is about the future. How do you see GeoInt in the next 10 years? What, what is it going to be about in, in 10 years' time? I think probably, um, from my perspective, it, it's more of the seniors within the organisation, as they say, getting it. It's more of an appreciation of, of what location, and what geography, uh, what geospatial information uh, can do for an organisation, certainly at the enterprise level. Because I think in our business uh, of defence and national security, we often say that 85% of all information is geospatially referenced. It's, it's all about location. But it's making sure that that message is, is understood within the seniors of various organisations so that they can begin to adopt it more as an enabling technology than, than we currently have. Nick, thank you very much for the interview and thank you very much for joining DGI. Okay.